Hi everyone, my name is Amber, welcome back to my channel. This is my review of Every Last Fear by Alex Finlay. So I'm gonna start this review by talking about the synopsis very briefly because it's a thriller, I don't wanna give it too much away. And then we're gonna go into my thoughts and feelings. But before I start, this review i do want to say that i don't really know how to rate this book because i enjoyed the story and the plot and the elements and things the elements that makes no sense i enjoyed the story and plot elements is what i was trying to say but i did have a couple of perhaps issues with this one and i need to talk to some more people about it because i'm not really sure how to feel about it and that's not great if i'm trying to do a review for this book i also can't really talk about these things in this video because they would be spoilery and I don't want to put any spoilers in this video because it's a review, I don't want to give anything away. But anyway, on to the actual plot summary. So Every Last Fear is about a college boy called Matt, whose whole family, bar his one brother, have been killed in Mexico. It's allegedly a gas leak and his two parents and two of his siblings have died. His other brother Danny is currently in prison for life because he has murdered someone, allegedly. So Matt gets the news and the FBI is getting involved because they were going to question Matt's father about about some company thing that was nothing to do with him but they wanted to get answers and then it comes out that maybe it wasn't a gas leak and the family died under more suspicious circumstances. That's the basic plot and I have to say I really enjoyed it. I thought the plot was really good, the twists and turns were very well done, I liked that the book was told from multiple points of view as well. So that's a very brief summary of my basic thoughts on the book as well because, you know, in case you don't want to watch this whole video. So Matt, the main character, like I said there are different perspectives but Matt was probably the main one because he's kind of like in the centre of this whole thing. I did quite like him as a character but I wouldn't say that he's very standout. He didn't really do much in this book in terms of figuring out the plot. I feel like he was more there in order to, I don't know, show us how a character like that would feel if they lost their whole family. He wasn't really doing much of the investigating, there was actually a really cool FBI agent who was doing that. I can't remember her first name but she was Detective Keller and I really really enjoyed reading her chapters. She was initially involved in kind of a fin financial investigation and then she kind of gets a bit involved with the murder, potential murder mystery and I really enjoyed her point of view. I thought it added a lot because Matt like I said wasn't really doing anything he was just kind of traveling around dealing with the loss of his family and I think plot points were kind of happening to him and he wasn't really kind of going out there and doing much detective work because he's just a college boy. Like realistically, that's probably a real thing that's going to happen. I think I've read too many YA threaders where the teenagers are going out and solving all of the crimes. <laughs> like I said, I really enjoyed the different points of view. I also really enjoyed the fact that the book is told in a non-linear format. So in present day, there is Detective Keller and there is Matt. And then it also switches back to the past where it focuses on the family that died. So we get the points of view of the two parents and one of the siblings, Maggie, and we look into their thoughts and feelings dealing with Danny going to prison for murder and also them trying to pard get him pardoned because they don't think he did it. There's not really enough evidence for him to have committed the murder and the only reason he's in prison is because he confessed as a teenager because the police kind of pressured him into it. We also see what led them up to going to Mexico which is where they ended up dying. So I actually really enjoyed this format as well because like I said Matt wasn't the best character and Keller was interesting but she was only involved in present day. She only came in after the family had already died. So it was really good to see their perspectives and to see them investigating what had happened to their son or brother, depending on how they were related, and how they were dealing with all of these things that happened in their small town and what they were doing to try to free Danny. I think it was a really good idea on the author's part to include these perspectives because it also helped build a lot of tension and excitement on the lead up to their deaths because their kind of chapters ended. You knew how their chapters were going to end or how their story was going to end because you knew that they were definitely dead. And I feel like having read about these characters so much throughout like 75% of the book, I felt a real connection with them. And because I wasn't really feeling a connection with Matt, I didn't really care about him all that much because it was a bit boring. It was really nice to read about the other characters who were going to die because that kind of evoked an emotional response in me. I really enjoyed the mystery elements as well. I did think some of it was over the top, but this is a thriller book for most thriller books that are over the top. CSI is really over the top. People still enjoy that. I did think some bits were a bit ridiculous and didn't really need to be in there. Like at one point there's a freaking tornado warning in the middle of a funeral and there was just no need for that. Like I don't really understand why or what the point was. I thought something else was going to come out of that, but it didn't. One thing I really didn't like, and I also know that a few other Goodreads reviewers didn't enjoy, was the portrayal of Mexican people. So the family go to Mexico in order to investigate something that's happening with Danny. And in Mexico, I feel like the portrayals of Mexican people there were very stereotypical. The author kept referring to them as the Mexicans. And in Mexico, all these bad things kept happening 
kept happening and all of the characters there were either like corrupt cops or drug dealers or prostitutes or they were running some sort of like prostitution den or party girl company or murderers and it was just it wasn't great and I don't really understand the point of setting the book in Mexico because it could have just as easily have been set in the US and that would have been the exact same outcome so I didn't love that part of it and that's one of the things that has me a bit conflicted because while I really enjoyed the storyline and the plot and most of the characters at least for the most part I didn't really enjoy that portrayal or the way that the author wrote about them. There was also a part at the end, so I'm gonna briefly talk about the ending, but I'm not gonna go into detail or any spoilers, I'm just gonna talk about my feelings about the ending. I did really enjoy the ending, and I saw the twist kind of building up and coming, but I didn't guess anything for sure. I really enjoyed that the clues were all kind of coming together, and I had a vague idea of who might have done something who might have done it and that was really fun to read because I was kind of going along with the main characters and it was all coming together for me at the same time as it was for them so that was really good but then the big reveal about who done it and their motive was not great I really didn't enjoy that and again this is something that I want to talk to people about in a kind of spoilery discussion probably not on my YouTube channel but maybe I could text someone about it because I really want to talk to someone and kind of get my th feelings out there because I feel like having someone to talk about it with would really like help me figure out what is going on in my mind but I didn't really like the ending to that because I didn't like their motive it was kind of offensive I thought and um, it was really not good portrayal of whatever it was it's really hard not to spoil things basically so that was a bit disappointing and I was loving the book up until that moment bar the potentially xenophobic comments I thought the story was going really really well and for it to fall apart like that right at the end was quite frustrating but overall I did really enjoy my experience of reading the book it was definitely a well constructed plot it's just the writing style and the author's portrayals that weren't all that great so I wouldn't recommend this book for everyone I would say go into it knowing that the portrayal of Mexican people is probably not that great uh the portrayal of Mexico like as a country probably isn't that great and also the ending could possibly offend some people but otherwise I did enjoy the fast-paced plots and the way that the author kind of interwove the flashbacks with the family and the present day with Detective Keller and the main character Matt so that was all right like I said I don't really know how to rate this one because my feelings are kind of mixed but hopefully this review gives you kind of a good idea of what to expect of the book and you can form your own opinions I would recommend going to check out some more Goodreads reviews because there are a few people on there who have spoken about the same things that I'm talking about some of them do go into kind of a more spoilery detail about it so if you are interested in spoilers and you want to know specifically what I'm talking about please do go and check out those reviews it's just I don't really want to talk about them in this video in case I accidentally spoil someone so that's that's my review of Every Last Fear. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have read this book or if you were interested in reading this book, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of it or what you're expecting from it as well. That would be really interesting to know. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be back in the next one. Bye.